Welcome everybody to another episode of Latif's Inspired. I'm back in the kitchen and I'm gonna cook a fantastic dish. This dish is very popular in the restaurant and I'm gonna be cooking it for a few friends. So I'm gonna be using chicken on the bone for a fantastic curry called the chicken garlic. And I think to myself, what a wonderful Right ladies and gentlemen, I've got some of the ingredients here uh, for you guys. I've got the onions ready, the garlic ready, lots of coriander, green chilli, ginger. I'm actually using coriander stalks and that's the coriander leaf. That's going to be for garnish. I'm going to use this for a little bit earlier. I don't like waste. Um, it's going to be a, create a phenomenal flavour. These are lovely vine tomatoes. Vine tomatoes are the best for curries. And this is the chicken. I'm using four uh, smaller size chicken. This normally between 900 and 1100 gram. So there's four chicken here, but it's not four kg. It's about three and a half kg um, of chicken on the bones. Um, so what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to marinate the chicken as I usually do. It creates a fantastic flavour and it draws out some of the liquid. There you go. So one, two teaspoon of salt, one heat teaspoon of chilli powder and one heat teaspoon of turmeric. There you go. Looks fantastic. I'm going to give this a nice little mix. So the chicken's mixed properly. Bismillah. I'm using this fantastic karai again. Here's one cup of oil. Bismillah. Right, I'm gonna put some uh, pure ghee. It's gonna create a lovely flavor. That's about three um, tablespoons of ghee got into there with a cup of oil. Ghee is more healthier than oil, as you guys have been telling me. When the oil is nice and hot, let's start frying. Ideally, I would have fried it in a bit more oil. The only reason why I didn't put too much oil is I'm going to use this amount for the curry. Just throwing out that moisture plate and this actually creates a lovely flavour on the chicken. <clears throat> and if I added the chicken without doing this, it would have made the, saucy, the, the curry a bit more saucy than I would have wanted to. So therefore, when you do this, you can master the burner. Right, so the chicken licking is cooking away wonderfully. It's been a good about five, six minutes. Look at that caramelization. Oh my God, absolutely gorgeous. This creates a fantastic flavor. And be very careful when you're doing this. Just keep it every few minutes every minute or so just keep on turning it and this is going to create a wonderful flavor i've kept the bones in all to give it a fan fantastic flavor there you go so this normally takes about eight to ten minutes at home but you can get away with about six minutes and a very high heat the time on so i've got these breast pieces so this needs to be cooked a little bit more there you go and I want that sort of caramelization on the chicken, that charred sort of, because it's cooking on the cast iron, lovely. Some of them is done, so now I'm going to take it out and put in the next batch. Some of that oil is evaporated, sort of, in that chicken. So I'm going to use another cup of oil to cook the next batch. Thank you. 
Right guys, chicken been frying away for a good six to eight minutes. Uh, let's take them out. This batch is done, now for the last batch, hopefully. Right ladies and gentlemen, this is all the chicken that is kind of stuck to the cast iron. But don't worry, this is flavour. So, and we're going to use this oil as well. So it's going to create a fantastic dish. So now, I'm going to start cooking. I'm working in the garam masala. So these are the cassia barks, about three pieces. Bay leaf, cardamom, about six onions over here, diced up, nice and small. That waft, that fragrance is absolutely gorgeous from the garam masala. Can you smell that, Marie? Beautiful. So when the onions start releasing some liquid, all the chicken bits from the side are going to come into the lovely thick sauce. So now the onions have been mixed, I'm going to put the gas down from a high to a medium and let this cook away for a few minutes and I'll come back to it. And let me finally put a lid on, let it generate some steam then I'm going to start uh, putting in the rest. Yeah. Cooking away beautifully. It's been a few minutes. Getting a lovely caramelization on the onions. All the bits from the side of the chicken has gone into this onion. And then what I'm going to do now, just need that onion to soften up slightly a little bit more before I add the ginger and garlic. In fact, I'm going to add the salt shortly. Right, I'm going to add a bit of salt now. I've added two teaspoons uh, on the chicken, so the chicken is nice and flavoured. So I need to flavour the sauce. So I'm only going to add one two and a half so that's two and a half teaspoons of salt quite heat teaspoons so be very careful if it's too salty it's not good you can always add more so salt to taste guys so the onions need a good 10 12 minutes cooking time so i'm going to wait about about four to five minutes and come back to it Onions softening away beautifully. Gonna add some ginger. That's one, two, about three tablespoons of uh, ginger. This is a garlic dish, so I'm adding one, two. Three, four, five. That's a lot of garlic, you may say, but it's going to create a wonderful flavour. The garlic going in now. There you go. Now I just want that pungency from the ginger and garlic to sort of go, so it'll take about five minutes before I add the spices. Right, I forgot to add these coriander stalks. So just put it at the same time as the ginger and garlic. This creates a lovely fragrance as well as flavor. If you use less oil, you can add a bit of water to soften everything up. But I've got a fair bit of oil and ghee in there, so this should do the job. Right, ladies and gentlemen, the ginger and garlic softened up. Now I'm going to add some lovely spices. The heat is on a medium. So, right, 
adding that's one two teaspoon of turmeric for a beautiful color and flavor that's one two two and a half teaspoon of chili powder that's one two teaspoon of curry powder one teaspoon of cumin powder one two three teaspoons of coriander powder right i'm gonna add some green chilies keeping it whole so it's uh, it looks very nice and creates a lovely flavor i'm gonna add these tomatoes these are five vine tomatoes right and flavorsome so that goes in the tomato and the onion is going to create a lovely thick curry sauce wonderful so put the gas on the medium and let this let the spices cook for a good five minutes and then we'll come back to it shortly right beautiful people chicken uh, spice has gone in there it's been a good five minutes the oil has separated to the top all the vegetables have softened up wonderfully look at that that fragrance is absolutely phenomenal i'm salivating this is all the cooked chicken so it's been cooking about eight minutes it needs another good 10 15 minutes cooking time be very careful there we go wonderful so what i'm going to do i need the chicken to cook in these spices for a good five minutes before i add some water there you go so cover all of this up with this wonderful sauce if you can smell this i promise you you would be going crazy for the food that is <laughs> Wonderful. So now the gas was on a me uh, medium to medium low. Now put it back onto a medium, so not high. And I'm going to cook this for a good five minutes or so. I'll come back to it shortly in a few minutes. Put the lid on. I'll come back to it in a few minutes. Right, guys. Chicken's cooking away wonderfully. As you can see, uh, I'm adding that was one mug of hot water. Da, 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 da. I'm actually using this pickle. I'm not getting paid by Patax, guys, but this is a fantastic pickle. It's got a nice garlicky flavor, almost a sweet sort of garlic flavor. So that needs to go in. <clears throat> so I'm using one, two, three, Four good heaped teaspoons of uh, garlic pickle there, guys. I'm gonna put the heat up to a high heat. Um, I put in one mug of water. I may need another mug. I've got plenty of chicken here, so I, I'm gonna have to be careful. The reason why I've added the water, I want the chicken to get cooked thoroughly. So carefully mix this, there's plenty of chicken in here, so be careful. There you go, wonderful. I'm still cooking it on a medium high heat 
But be careful when you're cooking it in a karai. Sort of catches at the bottom, so you're gonna have to be careful and keep on mixing it every few minutes. Yeah, it's definitely gonna need another mug of water, but not at this moment. There you go. Wonderful. Now I'm gonna put the lid on and let this cook away for a few more minutes. Right guys, chicken's cooking wonderfully. Now, I've just used one cup of water. There's quite a lot of chicken, so I can't make it saucy enough. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave the liquid as it is, and I'm gonna put on a slower gas, and then cook it out for a good eight to 10 minutes. And by that time, the curry will be ready. Bob's your uncle, done. So what I'm gonna do, that was a nice little mix. It's looking very colorful. There you go. Now I'll put the lid back on, and this is a lower, I'll actually show you the gas. There you go. So basically, just on a simmer. Close the lid and come back to it in about five minutes or so. Oh, mate. Wow, this looks amazing. Oil has separated. You know, the curry's ready now. It was on a good simmer for a good five to six minutes. Yep. I'm just making sure it's not caught at the bottom. I don't think it has. And that was a good judgment. I didn't need any more water. There you go. The chickens, I can see, is cooked. There you go. Beautiful. So now, all I'm going to do is add a lovely little garnish to finish up. So, <clears throat> put some nice kasuri methi, a bit of flavour and umami. There you go. And some lovely coriander. There you go. Turn the gas off and we're going to be ready to serve. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, to be honest with you, this is looking absolutely mouth watering. It is looking fantastic. Now, it's cooked beautifully, nice thick sauce. There you go, wonderful. Look at that, you can have that, those garlic, onions, thick tomato. Wonderful. There you go, look at this. From that garlic pickle, can you see that bit of garlic there? There you go, and there's one garlic and one cardamom and a bit of chili, and I'll pick a lovely little drumstick. Let's give it a taste. It's piping hot. There's a piece of ginger, piece of garlic. There you go, wonderful. Bismillah. Oh yes. Mmm, lovely, lovely taste. Thick tomato, sort of base sauce. That garlic there, look at this. Let me show you this garlic. That's the garlic from the pickle. They're absolutely gorgeous. Mmm. Let's taste the chicken. It's very hot because I've just cooked it. Cooked to perfection. <clears throat> the chicken itself, imagine you're in a restaurant and you've ordered chicken tikka curry. The chicken tikka is very flavoursome <clears throat> and when you add it to the curry, it's absolutely to die for. So is this. Mm. Finger licking chicken. Beautiful in flavour, which you can do at home if you follow these tips. And guys, <clears throat> Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more fantastic videos at Latif's Inspired. If you've enjoyed this, put a little comment. If you, if you want, want some requests, put it in the uh, section. I do look at it and I'll put it on my list. See you soon.